Ay, 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 <laughs> Hey guys, Snails Republic here with another mod showcase, and today I'll be showcasing the, what is this mod called? Talisman mod. Yes. Um, it was, it's based off of a Jackie Chan show, I guess. Um, like kind of a cartoon, like Jackie Chan Adventures, I believe is what it's called. Uh, pretty cool mod, it's really fun. Um, not too OP, but it is OP all at the same time. So yeah, um, this mod was made by Hoopa Wolf, the one and only Hoopa. Oh, well, there's probably more, but, you know, he's, he's the awesome Hoopa. So, anyways, um, yeah, let's get right to it. So, there are quite a few talismans, as you can see. There's nine of these, uh, like, smaller ones, and then there's these three main ones that do, like, really awesome things. I mean, these ones all do awesome things, too, but... Yeah, so, actually, let's start with these ones right here. Well, this one we won't really start with. I, I can't really do anything with this one until this chest, but... Anyways, so, this one right here, the Ox Talisman. And as you're, wonder as you're probably wondering, that I am in survival mode. These will not work on creative mode most of the time. Some of them do, I think... But um, most of them, I know for a fact, don't work. So I have to do this on survival mode. Fun. But, yeah, so the Ox Talisman. So they all have the little like description below. It gives the user the power of super strength and durability, like Superman here. But uh, And as you can see, as I'm holding it, it just keeps about five seconds with strength two and resistance two. So I'm really powerful and I'm really strong, pretty much. If I take it out of my hands, then as you can see, it goes down until it's at zero. So it doesn't make it too OP, you can't be holding a diamond sword and just have this in your inventory and be beating the crap out of people. Nope. You get five seconds of it. So you can go like this, I guess, but... Yep. Anyways. So yeah, that is the Ox Talisman. Next is the Tiger Talisman. Now, before I do this one, actually, I'm going to say, um, all of these things here, you cannot craft any of them. You have to find them in chests and things like dungeons, um, just like little mob spawners, things like that. So, um, I don't believe there are any new dungeons added for these specifically, but yeah, I know you can find them in just like chests. Maybe you can find them in villages, I'm not really sure about that, but anyways. So yeah, back to the talismans. So this one is the Tiger Talisman, it gives the user the power of balance. When halved, it also splits the, yeah, the user's positive and negative halves, yin and yang, into two separate beings, each holding a half of the talisman. So when I click that down. Um, as you can see, there's one half there, which is the exact same as this half. It's kind of a glitch, you can't pick it up or anything like that, but yeah. So there's my other half. Apparently I look kind of like Steve. Don't 100% see the resemblance here. But, um, yeah, anyways. So if I attempt to kill him, yeah, he does about one and a half hearts. He's, he's not too strong. And then he will drop the other half when you kill him, and you will need a diamond to put it together. So if you take these, so this is the only one you can technically craft. Put them here and you put like a diamond in between them. Or I'm not sure if you might need to do it in a crafting table with a diamond in between them right there. Anyways, you can remake it so that you can constantly have like a little guardian guy. Uh, especially if you just want to like, I don't know, make enemies with your friends and stuff. But anyways, so yeah, that's these ones. Let's put Yin and Yang back in here. And I'll go over this one when I get to the other chest. So yeah, let's start with these ones here. We've got the rabbit dungeon, dragon, snake, horse, sheep, monkey. And the chicken, or rooster, I guess. So let's start with the rabbit. So as you can see, I have, like, super speed. Let's see, let's, let's check this out. It doesn't even give me how much... I, I just go really fast. I don't believe I have a jump boost at all, so it's kind of weird, but, you know. Hey, I go really fast. Whee! No. I feel like I'm being chased by a fox right now. I'm just, like, hunted down. Yeah. 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 Okay, so I uh, I flew back. Yeah, it's, it's not cheating. Okay, I could have ran back with the bunny. Oh, I feel slow now. I feel so slow, but I can still sprint. Okay. Anyways, next up is the um, dragon talisman. So this one gives the power of combustion and pyrokinesis. Allows holder to shoot beams of explosive flaming energy discharged from the talisman. So this one just pretty much shoots fireballs. It can lift you up if you really want to fly. Oh, that didn't work too well. And uh, yeah, it's it's fun to just blow everything up and catch things on fire and up. Uh, you know, I wonder if these things ever come down. Ouch. Well, I come down. Anyways, the monster case is right over here. So let me just run back to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, next up is the snake talisman. Um, this one gives the user the power of invisibility. So as you can see, I'm invisible for, like, ever. So I just... Boom, boom. But, uh, yeah, and then you have to let go of the talisman if you want to be completely invisible, but then it will take it down. So you only have, like, five seconds, but, yeah, it still is pretty cool. Alright, so after the snake is the horse talisman. This one gives you pretty much, like, infinite health. It's a wonderful little guy. 
So as you can see, I have regeneration two. I still have invisibility from the snake, but and you just constantly regenerate. You know, if I were to smack a horse, I don't think it would regenerate that fast. I think it'd more just like smack me back, but I don't think it would regenerate. But still, it's pretty awesome. I mean, just I'm like invincible. Let's see. There's a line from another mod. I believe this is your more of gay. Yeah, that he's from. I'm not sure. Just punch him. As you can see, I'm like invincible. Come on, keep hitting me. Do it harder, harder. Harder! Harder! Uh, sorry, I got a little carried away there, but anyways, so that was the horse talisman. Next is the sheep. So as you can see, it just constantly kills me. It's like a wither effect. I really need this horse one back. And then if I glue shift or space, I can actually fly or go down into the ground. And as far as I want to go, or as high as I want to go, and I'm going to give myself the horse one back. Okay, now if I were to fly up, so I can literally fly and then just change the horse one. And as soon as I hit the ground, I heal up really fast. So, yeah, this one's a nice one uh, for exploring. I mean, it's really good if you're okay with taking the damage for it. Ouch. But, yeah. All right, so that's it for the sheep one. Next is the monkey. I like this one personally. That's why I built this wall. All right, so it gives the user the ability to climb like a monkey. So, you just like... <laughs> oh, I failed my own climbing course. All right. <laughs> so, yeah, I can just climb up any type of wall. And climb down walls. So, gives you a little bit of a ladder effect there. So it's pretty much like a ladder. It's, it's a little bit faster than a ladder. And a lot less noisy. Whee! You still take fall damage. Alright, so that's the monkey one. Pretty cool guy. Next is the rooster talisman. Let's see. Gives the user the power to levitation. With it, a person can fly. But it is only with the rabbit that they are able to achieve supersonic flight speeds. So, if I... Let's, let's try this real quick. Alright. Let's mix these up. I'm going to climb... Oh, I need the monkey one to do that. Climb up to the top of here. I'm going to... Oh, that didn't work too well. Well, it's a bit glitchy. Can I... Yeah, yeah, fly. Fly, little rooster man, fly. Oh, that... Oops. <laughs> My monkey climbing skills are a little bit off. So if I just... And then... Yeah, you know... It kind of works. You take slightly less fall damage, it seems, when you jump down, but it may just be a bit bugged. It may just not work too well. So, yeah. Um, we have two more talismans, so let's put all these up. Let's grab these two. I like these two. So, we have the pig talisman. Gives you the power of fire optic blasts. It can also be used to see everything as bright as day, even in the darkest caves. Night vision. Yeah, so you have night vision with this, so as you can see there. And then you can shoot fireballs, so it's kind of like the dragon unlimited fireballs these ones don't actually do damage to uh, the terrain unlike the dragon so I mean I guess pigs usually don't do damage to terrain anyways so um, and then yeah it will give you night vision so that's pretty nice next is my favorite it's the dog actually hard between the monkey and the dog really where's the monkey I need the monkey back I just miss him so much actually no I need oh stupid monkey just jumping out of my hands all right all right so with the dog I can just jump, and I'm literally invincible. Like, nothing can kill me. I could just be in the darkest night, and just nothing. Nothing will kill me at all, ever. Is the sun going down? That's not nice of the sun. That is not nice at all. You know what, sun? Screw you. Screw you. Okay? It's going to be daytime now because I say so. Okay? Now it's daytime. You see that? You see that? You respect me, good boy. Okay. So, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it for all these talismans. And let's take out the next items. Let me eat some steak first because I'm hungry. Alright. Okay, that was weird. So next up is the wood golem toy. Now this one does have a crafting recipe. If we look at it, you can have five or four pieces of any type of wood. So it has to be a whole piece of wood. It can't be a plank. So a log. And then you need a pumpkin. So just like a normal iron golem, except it's going to be in this formation here. And then that will give you a wood golem toy. Looks like I need something to activate it. Yes, yes you do. Alright, and then you're going to need the mouse talisman. Gives the user the power of animation. Motion to the motionless. Gives inanimate objects life. Now, I wish that this thing would just like go like this. Like, come back here. And just like turn grass to life and have like a little face and run around and try to kill you. But I hope it doesn't do that. It just brings him to life. So, you have your little wooden toy there, and then you have a puppet. So, it's alive. You just put them in crafting table, or you can just put them in your inventory, pretty much. Um, and you do the mouse and the wooden golden toy. So, I'll just show you like this, too. If I were to take it, I go like this. Makes my little toy man. 
Right, and so he's pretty much the exact same thing as an iron golem, except a lot cooler. I don't think he has enough uh, as much health. I think a, uh, an iron golem actually has about 110 health. But um, yeah, I'm actually thinking that the little mouse ones, um, there's one in this chest. Uh, these ones here, I don't think these are quite as rare as the rest. So there's probably spawning differences. You could probably find those on the forums. Um, he might have something on them. I'm not 100 percent sure. But yeah, so he has a little crafting table on him. If only I could craft. Let me craft on you. Beautiful. Beautiful man boobs. Okay. No, but, um. So if I. Oh, he just lifts him up in the air. Really high. He's not too easy to kill. Oh, that's gonna leave a mark. Okay. That was not nice. That was not nice at all. You're gonna pay for that. You're gonna pay for that. My insurance bill is coming to you. I'll go back here. Alright, so let me smack him in the face a bit more. Yeah. And then he will drop the mouse. Um, three wood out of the four wood, so. He has less wood now, but I mean, who cares about wood? It's everywhere. Like, just look around. Tree, tree, tree. Let's play a game. How many trees are there in this one picture right here? One, two, three, four. Okay, I'm done. Um, I'm going to say four. So, yeah, it gives you the three of the wood. It gives you the mouse, but you just need one piece of wood, and then you'd be fine. So, yeah, that's it for those guys. And then there are two more items here. There are the Shadow Cons. All right. Boom. He tries to kill me. Oh, that's not very nice of you. Please leave me alone. Stop chasing me. Uh, they're like extremely fast, as you can see. Like I practically need my rabbit talon uh, or tail. Uh, I already forgot that. How did I forget the name of them? Just kind of spacing here. My rabbit tailsman is what I'm gonna need. Ouch! Stop it. All right. And then when you kill these guys, um, they actually don't do very much damage to you, as you can see. It took me him like 20 hits to kill me. Um, when you kill them, you can actually get these little shurikens here. So I will test one out on him just to show you that they work pretty well. Get back here. Boom. So, as you can see, it did 5 damage, and now I'm going to finish him. Ah. He's like a... Oh, that was weird. He's like a teleportation power. Anyways. Ah, oh, he's... he's what? what? Back here. I hear him, but I don't see him. I won't finish you. Where's he at? I think I killed him. Did you hear that moan? Alright. Well, yeah. Oh, there's his experience points. So, yeah, they can actually drop the shurikens. Shurikens do about five damage, so that's like five half hearts. So, like two and a half. So, that's not bad at all. It's pretty good. So, yeah, that, uh, that pretty much concludes it for this mod showcase. Thank you guys so much for watching. And, yeah, the link to the download will be in the description below if you want to download the mod and play with it yourself. It's a very fun mod. I would recommend it. Once again, this mod was made by Hoopa Wolf, the one and only Hoopa out there. Anyways, so, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and have a nice day.